C'est une transformation remarquable. En une dizaine d'années, le Rwanda s'est relevé du drame du génocide pour devenir l'une des plus ambitieuses nations d'Afrique. Le plan de développement du pays s'articule autour des six piliers de la vision 2020, dans laquelle les TIC jouent un rôle clé de manière transversale. ICT is an enabling tool. It supports our vision in, in different sectors. Without technology, economic development will be very difficult. It can't be looked at as, as luxury. When Rwanda embarked on adopting ICT, we actually even had problems with our development partners because the questions were, you guys, uh, you are just too ambitious. Do you really need uh, computers and internet out there or you need sufficient drinking water, you need good shelter, you need sufficient food? And they said, well, it's not exclusive of the other. We need all of them because uh, if we had to wait for everybody, every household in Rwanda to have good drinking water and sufficient food and good shelter, we shall wait forever. The Vision 2020 uh, aims at moving Rwanda from a predominantly agricultural economy to a knowledge-based economy by the year 2020. The government did realize that in order to attain the vision, there was a need to accompany it with uh, national ICT plans. NIKI in full, it stands for National Information Communication Infrastructure. It is a national ICT policy and plan uh, that was uh, uh, first adopted by cabinet in the year 2001. Le projet de la Banque mondiale, e-Rwanda, qui fait partie de la phase 2 du Nikki Plan, s'engage à aider le gouvernement rwandais dans la généralisation des pratiques de bonne gouvernance en tant que condition minimum pour un développement harmonieux des autres piliers de la vision 2020. The E-Rwanda project, among many other things, is looking at having coming out with efficient government. We are looking at finance management systems. The efficiency has come in, transparency, accountability, all these have been enhanced with the utilization of ICT and we have benefited greatly from that. de contribuer au bien-être de la population, des améliorations dans les secteurs de l'éducation et de la santé sont nécessaires pour bâtir une population active, productive et efficace. Cela est essentiel pour que le Rwanda devienne une économie dynamique fondée sur la formation et la connaissance. My name is Nambara Vicent. Joining ICT and Computers, it was a, a program of uh, the Demobilization Commission that was helping ex-soldiers uh, going for formal education. We have hope in it and we're expecting much in it. Because we know outside here in Rwanda, IT is a, a sector that is growing very rapidly. So we expect to get job. Our vision 2020 basically builds on uh, the quality of our human resources. And therefore ICT fits very well into that type of thinking. TrackNet montre comment le ministère de la Santé du Rwanda utilise la technologie des téléphones mobiles en temps réel afin de collecter, stocker, récupérer et disséminer des informations cruciales concernant les soins et traitements pour le VIH SIDA à échelle nationale. C'est une technologie simple qui a beaucoup changé la manière de gérer le programme de VIH SIDA au Rwanda. Il y a trois applications. Premièrement, c'est les indicateurs des programmes. Deuxièmement, c'est l'enregistrement des patients. Et trois, c'est la gestion des consommables. Au niveau de plus de décisions, c'est très important parce qu'on a toutes les données. On a la gestion des médicaments. Avec toutes ces données, on peut orienter les, les décisions qu'on va prendre. En complément de la bonne gouvernance et du développement des ressources humaines, le gouvernement rwandais a mis l'accent sur l'importance du secteur privé en tant que moteur de la croissance économique. ICT is one of the priority sectors that we promote. The government took a deliberate step to lift import duty on all ICT related uh, equipment. So we've also set up an, an ICT technopark. We have a mobile phone assembly company from China, first mobile phone assembly plant in Rwanda. 
，我们公司叫做 a l i n k Technology， 我们主要的产品是手机 Flash Desk、MP3、MP4、IT 产品，原材料从中国过来，然后在罗旺达这边组装。我们来罗旺达这边可能是第一家做 IT 的，从中国过来的。现在非洲这边也是一个很大的一个市场吧，有像这边有九百万人口，那么如果加上周边的国家的话，这个也是一个庞大的一个市场。就是我们来这边之前，就是先去了那个迪拜，过后我们就考察那个肯尼亚，然后我们就去了那个刚果、乌干达。政府对投资的是那个政策的比较宽松。就是拿我现在住在这个公司的那个场地来说吧，都是基本上可以说是相当是免费的，嗯，就是给些管理费用、水电费用。基本上这边来找工作人很多，我们需求量是三十个人，来应聘的有四五百人，大部分都是在高中学历以上。Le développement des infrastructures est un facteur crucial pour réduire les coûts liés à l'entrepreneuriat au Rwanda. Cela favorisera les investissements et contribuera à une intégration économique régionale et internationale. We have positioned ourselves as a hub in the region, and that way you can't achieve that without having the necessary basics. And infrastructure is one of the key requirements. What we are doing is facilitating easier communication and cheaper communication. By providing improved infrastructure, we are improving the lives of our people. ICT breaks the barriers related with being landlocked, and ICT in this particular case links us very easily and integrates us in the global economy more than anything else could have done. Le gouvernement du Rwanda a identifié les faibles rendements de productivité et les inefficacités du marché comme des défis à relever pour développer le secteur agricole. Today, we have about 20 telecenters in the country. Telecenters are really needed in rural area to provide information needed for rural development. Let's take an example of farmers. They need information on how to grow the plants. They need to to know how to, to harvest, they need to know where the, the market is and how they can sell their products. Rwanda's motivation, Rwanda's transformation, uh, I think is a result of the determination that what happened in Rwanda should never happen again. We want to be able to drive our destiny in terms of economy, in terms of politics, in terms of our social welfare. Rwanda has made remarkable progress since 1994 to date. And uh, the image out there, particularly in the international arena, is still not reflective of the true picture that Rwanda has undertaken. And that's still a burden. If you want to do business in a country that is upcoming, today is the time to do that. And Rwanda is the place to do that. We want to see Rwanda in 2020 as a middle-income country. We want to see Rwanda peaceful, prosperous, and part of uh, the global economy, a country that is modern, part of global solutions, and not part of global problems. And that's really where we are headed to, and we are very confident about achieving that.